This video showcases our work at IROS 2023, titled Online Monocular Lane Mapping Using Catmulram Spline. This work primarily serves the local map perception of autonomous vehicles. The code for this project has been open sourced on GitHub, and we welcome everyone to give it a try. This image illustrates how our proposed monocular lane mapping system works. The system takes a sequence of monocular images and odometry poses as input. Based on our proposed method, Monolam generates lane maps online while also allowing further optimization of the odometry poses. In this work, we focus on the lane markings on the road surface, including their geometric shapes, and maintain their categories, such as solid or dashed lines. The image showcases three different representations of lane marking geometry. Compared to point cloud representation, which consumes more memory, and polyline, which are discrete approximations of curves, splines are lightweight and provide continuous characteristics. We can parameterize splines with fewer control points and optimize their shapes by optimizing these control points. This diagram showcases the overall architecture of our system. You can consider our system as a curve feature-based VSLAM, Visual Simultaneous Localization and Mapping, system. Similar to classical point-based VSLAM systems, our system is divided into a front-end and a back-end, which respectively handle lane tracking and map optimization. However, unlike points, curves are challenging to triangulate and determine their 3D positions. The first commonly used approach is to combine 2D detection and inverse perspective mapping, IPM, to project the curves onto the ground plane. However, this heavily relies on the planar assumption and fails when the vehicle experiences jitter or shaking. Therefore, we adopt an alternative approach by directly utilizing neural networks to predict the 3D positions of lane markings from images. This method is more accurate in most cases, thanks to the emergence of bird's eye view, BEV, perception techniques in autonomous driving perception over the past two years. In this work, we employ Persformer, published in ECCV 2022, as our detector. Before diving into our work, you may need some knowledge about Catmulram splines. In simple terms, each point on the spline can be obtained using four associated control points and a parameter U, U determines the weighting coefficients of these four control points and typically ranges from 0 to 1. The right image illustrates how the weights of the four points change with varying parameter U. By parameterizing lane markings with splines, we can continuously optimize the control points using new observations and continually add new control points. This enables us to achieve online lane mapping. The key to the lane tracking component is establishing data associations between the current observations and the lane lines in the map. We model this as a bipartite graph matching problem. For such a problem, we only need to calculate matching scores between each pair of lane lines and then use the Hungarian algorithm to obtain the matching relationships. To obtaining matching scores, we design a pose uncertainty aware chamfer distance and consider the lateral sequence consistency. Our designed pose uncertainty aware chamfer distance is inspired by KISS ICP, keep it simple and straightforward iterative closest point. Specifically, we leverage the assumed pose uncertainty to determine the nearest neighbor query range for each point. Then, within this range, we calculate the chamfer distance. If a point can find its nearest point within this range, it belongs to the overlapping region of two lane markings. We use the overlap ratio to weight the chamfer distance in such cases. Additionally, if the overlap ratio is too small, we consider it as a new lane marking. We also consider the relative positional relationships between lane markings. This is achieved through a second-order graph representation. In the graph, each node represents a matching relationship, rather than a lane marking itself. If the lateral order relationship of the two lane markings represented by two matching relationships is the same, there will be an edge between the corresponding nodes, and the edge weight depends on the consistency of the lateral order. Finally, we sum up all the edge weights to obtain the weight of the matching relationship corresponding to each node. Ultimately, we solve the bipartite graph based on these two weights. Once we have established the data associations between the current observations and the lane markings in the map, we proceed with the pose update. Firstly, we approximate the spline with line segments to obtain a parameter U. This allows us to determine which point on the spline corresponds to a point P on the observed lane marking. 
Next, we establish the residual between two points using the point-to-tangent approach. The optimized pose is obtained by minimizing this residual as well as the residual between the estimated pose and the odometry-based pose. A good pose is beneficial for spline optimization. However, initializing good control points is even more important, especially when initializing the spline or adding new control points. To achieve this, we first perform local polynomial curve fitting on the newly acquired observation points. Then, we find the intersection points between a sphere centered at the end control point and the fitted polynomial curve. These intersection points serve as new control points, and the initialized observations are removed. This engineering process iterates alternately until all observation points are used for control point initialization. Lastly, we use a factor graph to model the optimization process. Unlike the pose optimization, we use point-to-point -point residuals instead of point-to-tangent residuals. This is because we assume that the pose is accurate enough at this stage, and point-to-point -point residuals provide more comprehensive constraints on the pose. The optimization framework is based on ISAM2, which allows us to efficiently optimize the factor graph nodes while retaining the history information. We evaluate our method using the open lanes dataset. You can consider our approach as a post-processing method for temporal fusion. For 3D lane marking detectors like Persformer, we utilize multiple frames of detections and odometry information to smooth the lane markings and improve the recall rate of the lane markings. Below are some of our experimental results. As you can see, the deep learning-based 3D lane detection system maintains accuracy and stability across different scenes and weather conditions. Meanwhile, MonoLAM performs temporal fusion by incorporating the results of each frame detection and generates an online lane map represented by Catmull-ROM splines.